here we are, the tell-all. Believe it or not, John Tron actually got Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. At least he made it through, you know? He didn't. He made it. Nothing really bad. To the other side. It seemed happened. And not death. He made it to, I want to go home. Fuck this. Yeah, he, he totally had the courage to be like, you know what? I'm Jimmy. And uh, I'm going to get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and not. This. I mean, he's eight years old, and he was like, they were like, why do you want to go home? And he's like, I'm homesick, I miss my family, and I'm just, frankly, I'm just way too young for this. And somebody was like, uh, yeah, you just don't, remember he was talking to those other kids, they're like, you just don't seem like a quitter. You just, you shouldn't quit, you're not quitting. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, but he was the one to get out of the situation, so this tell-all would not include as much as could be included by somebody that like went to the end of the show or right. like so I'm really curious because I've already seen this right. I'm curious as to what the other people have to say what is something that you would expect maybe crazy that went on behind the scenes of this show that that you're looking to see if he talks about like a guess of something well I mean I'm sure he found out that the kids someone was going to win $20,000. So mm. he was probably fucking pissed about that because yeah. I would be. Um, maybe a little bit more about this whole outhouse situation. Like, Well, how... he was pretty young. I'm, I'm. So you're saying like maybe his parents got upset or somebody's parents got upset? Um, you totally said that. Not me. I hadn't got there yet. I hadn't really thought about that. But uh, well, yeah, no, I mean, one... How did they all get there? What kind of contracts did they sign? What were they signing up for? Yeah. Did they know what they were signing their kids up for? Did they know that they were potentially going to win twenty thousand dollars? Yeah. And is then, that why you sacrificed your child? Yeah. yeah for twenty. For twenty thousand dollars. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well. Without watching it, you know. Now. I, I don't know. All there is left. The speculation's over. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, my hair is getting so large it is acquiring its own gravity field and or sentience. This video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. That's right, the wallet that holds up to 12 cards as well as cash. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and a lifetime warranty to boot, they're the last wallet you'll ever have to buy. And best of all, they've got over 30 colors and styles to choose from so you can pick the one that's right for you. So if you're still using a bulky old wallet like this, why don't you head over to ridge.com slash JonTron and use code JonTron to save yourself 10% and get free worldwide shipping and returns. And not to mention, this beauty makes a perfect gift for Father's Day, which is coming up. Don't be a bad son or daughter. <laughs> Gil. The last time on JonTron, John took a plunge into the world of Jonathan Karsh and Kid Nation. Today, we catch up with Jimmy from New Hampshire to find out if he's still eight years old and to ask the hard-hitting questions. <laughs> if you haven't watched part one, do so now or I'll scream. Link in the description below. What may have seemed like the ending there was really just the beginning for us. We had to get down to the bottom of what actually happened at Kid Nation. And I'm very pleased to announce we have a very special guest joining us here today. So everyone, please put your hands together for Jimmy Flynn! Not, Not hate anymore. anymore. <laughs> sorry, we gotta take precautions here. All right, I'm gonna spray you down first, Jimmy. All right, sorry about this, it's for your own good. Okay, let's go. All right, Jimmy, just come on over this way. Have a seat over there, thanks again for coming on. Of course, it's an honor, John. Oh, it's, 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 it's our pleasure, trust me. Look at you. Not you're all grown up. You're a big boy now. Yep. The fuck are you laughing at? You think this is funny? This isn't funny. This is serious. This was child abuse. What happened to you? It's great to have you here. Can I can I offer you anything uh, before we start? Would you want me to crack you a can of Bush's baked beans? Sure. Thanks. Sorry. Oh my god. This this, this should hydrate you before Thank we. You so much. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry. So this is the real Jimmy. This is the real, he's really here. This is him. Uh, Jimmy, we have a lot of questions for you. I'm, I'm sure everyone watching at home, I'm sure everyone is curious. I'm curious, we're all curious, but we want to get the real scoop from somebody who's really there. You say your, um, uh, your memory's a bit fuzzy then, right? Yeah, it was 13 years ago, so. 
little bit fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, so you were eight uh, then, and you are 21 now? Mm hmm Okay, so just tell us. What we really want to know is, was it as real as it looks? So... So people didn't un so when they say no adults. I mean, they, they meant no parents. Obviously, there's cameramen and stuff. People yeah. Thought, people thought there was no cameraman or anything like. That's what I was saying. I figured the, I figured <laughs> the cameraman wasn't a, like like a toddler. <laughs> I wasn't a robot. Yeah. <laughs> a robot, or I wouldn't even think a robot. I was thinking like a toddler. But. Uh <laughs> um, wait. So 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 yeah. There's adults manning the stations, the cameras yes. and stuff. And every now and then they would they would they would, they would dictate some things you did. Like I found a. So I was on the poor team. Okay. The poor team? The poor team. Oh, the, you mean like the, the labor the class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we the, have that down here? <laughs> see? <laughs> there you were. Child feudalism. Oh Child feudalism. <laughs> That's you down there, see? You were there. Yep, I, I see that. Mm -hmm. You were right there in the labor class. I was one of the damn Jets. Yeah. So yeah I just wanted to show one you that. Anyway, so you go on. Um, so yeah, so we, we got like, I don't know, it was like four or five buffalo nickels, which was the currency. Buffalo nickel? Buff they, were, they were just silver with buffaloes on them. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> currency of the Old West. <laughs> And I spent all my money in the candy shop and on root beer. I was, I, I was, I was <laughs> eight years old. So you, you, you were you were you were going to a payday advance like right after that, oh weren't you? God. You were trying to get a welfare check. <laughs> yeah, I wanted. You, you were you were waiting in the unemployment line. Yeah, I, I was. But and so I didn't have any money. But like like for the most part, I spent all of it. And then you gotta save, the Jimmy. Camera, Come on. I, I didn't know what saving was. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight. I'm way too young for this. <laughs> so they were they some of the cameramen were like, oh look what we found here, and they would kick some dirt and. They're like, oh, it's a buffalo nickel. You should pick it, but they planted it probably. Oh, they just they just would like throw you more money. Yeah. Uh. So was it a real functioning economy? I mean, I, to a, to an extent. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like I would go. I didn't even know we had a general store. I didn't know that. They didn't they didn't communicate that with us. I just knew that there was a candy store, and a soda shop. It sounds like they didn't clue you in on much then. Yeah. I, I also probably wasn't listening very well because uh, I was I was eight, <laughs> and I don't listen to. Jimmy, come on. <laughs> Did they give you like food? Uh, that wasn't shown, or did you really have to eat what they cooked? So for, for the most part, we ate what they cooked, and they had like it was horrible. The, what the kids cooked? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was shit. It was horrible. I knew <laughs> it. So they really weren't feeding you. You had to they, feed they yourselves. Fed us, to my memory, they fed us one time, and it was after the big. Um, one of the kids started to look real pale, like yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, started to after, numb. After, after the um, after, <laughs> <laughs> we got trench foot no, yeah. after after the um like the big event. We came back and and everywhere there was no time to cook because we did the event. And we were all like freezing because it was it was very cold. Oddly enough, it's cold in New Mexico at night. And so they just, they fed us and it was this. I I didn't like vegetables very much, but I remember it was it was a, a weird a weirdly cooked chicken breast and then like this purple. I'm assuming it's cabbage now, but I didn't know what it was at the time. Some purple stuff. <laughs> it was purple stuff and it wasn't good. Oh my god. I, didn't, I was I did not eat very well. Because other than that, we had so we had the whole dusty pancakes and molasses syrup. So they really they just said. Children, make your own food. Really eat it and stay alive. And there's no problem with this. There, there. They, 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 one of the intervention they had, they had people just walk around making sure you're hydrated. <laughs> they, they couldn't have people passing out. So okay, there was just, <laughs> that'd be bad for ratings. Yeah, <laughs> they had this one assistant who was always giving me Gatorade. Oh, and they gave us this dust to brush your teeth. You had like little what? You do this and you could have picked it off the ground. Dust? <laughs> no, it wasn't actually, dust. It was a little canister them... with like powder that you'd okay. Have like hygiene so, products. I guess the qu the main question is: to what degree was that really like just you versus the elements? How much intervention was there? Um, there there was there was enough just to get us by, but other than that, I didn't think there was a whole lot. Cause I, I like I said like okay, so when I'm sleeping, I had I had a mattress that was probably probably this thick and what? then a blanket this, like that was the thickness of this carpet what they really did that to you i'm like and then my my pillow i didn't have one so i used my red puffy coat i puffed oh. oh. i had a lot of hair so i got cut in the zipper a few times oh. wait so but that must have been like legitimately scary for you a little bit right yeah. was it i yeah i also shared it with like four or five other boys i just met <laughs> so there was no way out of it until the first right, yes, meeting, yeah right? yeah you were you were forced for the first four days. Because I love how they're like, don't worry, this isn't some kind of crazy show. You can get off. <laughs> Just, you got to wait, like, two weeks. Like, that's really what they did, right? So that's not fake. You couldn't you couldn't elect out. Not that I, I mean, if I, like, if I really, like, threw a tantrum, they probably wouldn't. I suppose like, you could have run in a different direction until they nobody had, found you. They had, like, a, a, a wall of, like, security people, like, like really far off to, really? like, make sure that no weird people or no animals. Oh, no yeah. weird people it, it, was, it, was, it was, like, it was, like, Hands Across America. Is that what it's called? The thing in the movement? I'm not sure. Or something like that. But they literally had people, like, like surrounding this town. Chain <laughs> like, they were literally chained, but they looked like they were. I think I'd be concerned if a weird man just yeah. showed up at the border of a, of a random ghost town. Yeah. I, uh, so, wait, yeah, no. Did you, like, were there scorpions in there? 
I never saw a scorpion. I saw jackrabbits. A jackrabbit. That's and I, terrifying. And I tried to murder them. Oh, I remember Sorry, that. Sorry, PETA, but I mean, like. To a certain degree, you can't get all the scorpions out of this <laughs> area. I, I don't. I, I don't know if they put down their scorpion repellent. Pesticide bomb. But um, I, I, I didn't see anything. Did anybody see any critters that were dangerous? Not that I know of. I think that's what the people. I, when actually, when we were out like jackrabbit hunting, we we can't. We, we weren't really far off the area, but like we had. Obviously, people like accompany us. We saw this. I remember seeing like cows and bulls, but they were tagged, so they like right. belonged to a farm. They weren't wild. Not just wild they cows. Weren't, yeah, I don't know if you. I don't even know if there are wild cows. But. Very dangerous and a bit <laughs> rude, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, no, but the the thing is, right? Because I was wondering. I was like, because they're making you sleep in these dusty old cabins with like, you know, the, probably space between the floorboards, right? Yeah. So, so I'm surprised you didn't come across any. I, I, I wasn't there very long, so maybe maybe there's some. I, I'm curious. I'm curious <laughs> if anyone else, if anyone else from Kid Nation knows if there were critters in or around your area, I want to know. That we'll that, that was that was a legitimate thing that I was wondering about. So you had to feed yourselves. You really were pretty much open to the elements. Like, was there was it insulated? Was it cold at night in there? Oh, it was freezing. I because yeah, it was really. They really didn't cold. even keep you warm. You I only shivered. A kid. I shivered every night. You shivered. Yes. They really genuinely put, like, I, because, I, like, the thing is, I'm just trying to figure out where the line between reality TV and they really are putting a kid they in put nature. They could have a space heater. All right, so we had these, yeah, we had these crappy old houses, and then they, were, they, put, they stuffed, like, six of us in there. Tiny mat, the thin mattresses, very thin blankets. In the middle of the night in Mexico, it's freezing. I would, like, I'd have to wear, like, full clothing. I, I wouldn't be able to go in, like, PJs. I had, wow. I had, like, Sweatpants and that, stuff. I feel like there were a couple times at camp like that, but it was always like a little bit monitored. On the bus, when you're when you're all coming in, yes. Did they tell you where you were going? No, that bus ride was like two hours, and we had no idea. I remember I was just in. So we, we were at stand at some random New Mexico um, hotel. I was on the bus. I remember just like I was on the like the window seat, and I was yeah, I was like looking out the window. I saw my mom and my sister, and we just like drove away, and I was like, shit, this is real. And then, like, <laughs> I had no, and then we drove forever, and they never told. They were like. Whose idea was it for you two to get on this show? Go on the show? Um, I think it was like my mom's. I mean, like we, I was kind of interested in acting when I was little, and so I auditioned for this, like the new role. But well, I was. You weren't gonna have to do any acting. I did, little did I know. <laughs> and so I, th we went to um, an, an audition in Boston, and like they were like, "Oh, we like you, but you're too young." And that was when I was seven, so it was a year oh. before. And then the next year, they were like, "Oh, I guess we, I guess I still liked me," so they were like. You're one year older, so you're better now. Well, they called your mom up and said, we got the perfect role for him. We're going to strand him in a random location. <laughs> yeah. You can't come. Yes. If you call the police, we'll come for you. We have people. You got a call from, like, an acting agency uh, to your mom, and you were trying to do acting. You weren't like, I'm so ready for this, this social experiment. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was more into the playing a character and being in a nice movie set like this or something. Oh, and then You didn't know. Thank you, by the way, for saying this is a nice movie set. Here in my actual basement. <laughs> no, but it is pretty sick, though, isn't it? Oh, my God. Yeah, sick. It's a sick it. movie set. You got it, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, so you, you weren't trying to get the social experiment. Like, did you know that it was going to be, like, real, real? Or did you think this was going to be fake? Like, what was the imp When you got off the bus, did everybody suddenly realize it's more real than they thought? I, I, I mean, I went in with, like, a whole different idea. Like, I was like, oh, I want to be, like, coolest kid. Oh. Basket, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a fun time. Like I was expecting it to be more like an adventure. Like oh, it's gonna be fun. Right. No like parents, people. let's like drink root beer until like midnight. No one can tell us our bedtime kind of thing. I was like oh, it's great. I got there, it was horrible. Right, 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 right. <laughs> if I were yeah. a kid, I think I would think the same thing. Like, did you have any concept at that age of like oh, it's reality TV, but it's probably not gonna be like totally real. So I grew up watching Survivor. Like my parents and my right. family would always watch it, and that seems very authentic. So I was like oh, it's gonna be like a kid Survivor, but like. There was a decent amount of intervention, and I think it was mainly because it was just like everywhere you turn, there was a camera. It's something you don't really realize when you're watching. Yeah. Is that when right. you're actually there? There's like cameramen everywhere. So, what did your parents think of this whole thing? I mean, so in the beginning, they were all for it because it, it sounds like a, you know, a cool adventure. Like, oh, he's gonna go out. Like, it, it sounded like a, a little bit more extreme summer camp. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was kinda. a lot worse. But when I came back, they, they were like, well. My mom was very glad that I came home because she didn't realize how much she would like miss me after right. having to like leave her child in New Mexico and go back to New Hampshire. And how long were you there uh, from like from the time you got off the bus to the time you left? So I, okay, so the, so I was at Bonanza City for four days. Four days. And then when I left, I th I don't I think it was like two or three days. Okay. I was in a hotel with one of like the P. Uh, do you call them PAs? Uh, production assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the PAs. I was just like in a hotel with it. That sounds really bad. Let me. That <laughs> <sounds> <laughs> Was he, we were too, too 
You know, was he hands off? <laughs> Did he let you do what you wanted? <laughs> Is there no, no, no. Okay. Jesus. Two different hotel rooms. He was just like, maybe, brought me to like the mall. We like had a, we were having a fun time. Great guy. Hands Not off weird. or hands on? Hair, very guy. hands off. Okay. So Street has this different? like followed you? Did, did, did your schoolmates find out about this and stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I was the only kid from New Hampshire on it. So like it was <laughs> talk of the town. Right. Yeah, it aired in my fourth grade. Everyone was like fine with it. And then I think as we got older and we got into that, Prepubescent, like <laughs> prepubescent. <laughs> I got a lot of backlash from it. A lot of yeah, a backlash. I don't understand. See, whatever I hear about this, like backlash from like, wouldn't you think people would be like, oh, that's Jimmy? Yeah. Kid from it was like, ah, like, oh, you're oh, a oh, You bitch. got put in the desert by producers. Oh, like, what? he was yeah. a Why would they make fun of you for that? Because I because I left early and I cried and they're like, I don't cry. cry. You were eight. People don't cry. Apparently, I'm the only person that cries. You were not the only in the episode that I watched. Play the clip. Yeah. Look at all them crying. Everyone cried. They all. That's oh what I was gonna God, say. That one that's how girl. I felt like I knew this was real. Like half the half the kids break down eventually. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I really want to know. That one scene where, you, do you remember? There's a scene where you're just crying somewhere in like, the in the back of a barn. Did you yes. really run away? I actually did run away. And then the producers, or the Karen, found me. Like, hey Jimmy, can we can we film you? He did. That's what I said. <laughs> I made fun of. It's really what happened. He came up. To He's just like, yeah, give me more of that. <laughs> Well, they, they, they asked, like, do you mind if we film you? Like, this will be pretty good. And I was like, this will okay. be good. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I was like, this will be good? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I know you have no concept of anything. Your prefrontal cortex hasn't even grown in yet. This is going to be great for ratings. <laughs> Can you keep the waterworks coming? I was like, whatever it takes. <laughs> Honestly, what? What? Because I joked about that, but I'm like, because... My feeling was, you filming an eight-year-old crying, it's not its not fake. No. You can't be like, like, Haley Joel Osment, when you see him crying on an AI or whatever movie when he's a kid actor, you're like, okay, so he learned to cry. But when a kid's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, jeez. I couldn't believe anybody could just sit there and be like, because like silently like. Yeah, heart, kind of heartless. So were there any, like, was there a fallout Dang. from this? Was there like a lawsuit or anything? Um, I did not sue them, but they were sued. A bunch of times. So, kids, kids drink bleach. Jimmy, this is first I've heard of that. So I'm glad you're here to tell me about so, it. So, so you want to tell us about the bleach? Yeah. So well, I was not there for that part, but you know, kids don't know how to clean things very well. So they're like, ah, this is a dirty glass. Bleach. You mean they bleach? They Wait, wash the glass. They, instead of washing it with soap and water, or just hot water, they used bleach to clean it. And then drank from it. And then they didn't wash it out very well. Next, next glass. Ooh. Did they get Nine, sick? Did they get the sick? The ambulance came. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. uh, but like, was it like a real reaction from drinking bleach, or, uh, was, yeah. it, or was it a preventative uh, ambulance? I mean, there's no, there's no way you feel good after drinking bleach. Wow! Another girl got burnt, like, like got really. I, not, I don't know how bad, but like, she had oil burns. And she still have her face. Um, probably, hopefully, maybe. Well, not. you haven't seen it, so maybe. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. no. So, so she got burnt. How? She was cooking, and she, and again, kids don't know how to cook, so they're, they're like, oh, like. Jesus I Christ. This oh, show is ridiculous. Yeah. It's yeah. not deep frying it. They just were trying to cook it. it like sizzled oh out. And, got, and I, I think, pretty sure they got they got sued for that. The, Those are the only two I know. Because of. I've never heard of it. And when you try to buy this thing online, there's one clip of this show online. Mm -hmm. we can, everywhere that it's listed, you can't buy it. It's not for sale. I assume the lawsuits took, they try to bury this thing. Yeah, I think so too. But they gave all of the, all, well, at least me. I shouldn't speak for everybody else. They gave me a DVD of every episode. So I have all. Okay, was there really one bathroom only? Yes. Well, for the guys, no, because I peed behind every almost wherever every you wanted. Barn. Yeah, I peed wherever I wanted. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So, I was there really just one house for forty kids? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there. So it was actually right outside my room. And the funny oh. thing was, if I woke up, oh. there was a line of like twenty kids waiting to use the outhouse, and I didn't like. So that's really real. <laughs> that's really real. Because I was wondering, I'm like forty kids, yeah. forty kids, one outhouse. There's gonna be a line. The math shows the line. Yeah. And there was 20 kids waiting for the one out of house. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I I peed outside for the most part. Jimmy, see, you're really, really smart. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, and then I also... Girls have a bit of a problem with that. Just get... <laughs> how, how does a girl pee on the outside? It's difficult, actually. On the side of the house? Sorry, I didn't mean to spray you there. I got to just ask one more time. Just, one, there was, there, was no other way, there was no other way to relieve oneself. No, and I did not defecate while I you was there. <laughs> Jimmy, you didn't you didn't drop the kid. 
your pa- I was gonna, your parents dropped their kids off, but you didn't drop your kids off at I, any pool. I, 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 I saw the outhouse. I saw a girl come out. I went in, and, you know, and I just saw a lot of poop. And I was yeah. like, I can't you do saw this. A lot of yeah. so you got out and I it, just it did not go. Open. You saw the scene. You saw the you saw the crime scene. <laughs> I'm not gonna. You tried, you tried to bleach no. it from your mind. Not not literally this time. Wait. So can you just expand on the statement? I saw a lot of poop. I was afraid that if I sat down, it would go in me. <laughs> oh. And you'd get more up in there. And I didn't want that to happen. God so knows I was like, you have enough boiling up inside. And so I just I was like, I can't do you this. You don't need an insertion. Now I look back, I don't know who would ever empty it. So like it would literally just pile up. So nobody emptied it. I don't think so, because oh. when, when I went in, it was kind of a tower. Oh a tower. my I god! Was wondering, like if this really was, so they genuinely were like, do you want to watch cartoons, kids, or would you like <laughs> to have sanitation? D- did you guys take showers? So for the first three days, we did not take a shower. But after our big like event, when we had like all the. Wa- colored water all over us. Then we took a shower for like. Where, where were those showers? They had them in like little trailers. So they could have brought you more porta potties. Yes. They just <laughs> didn't wanna. Yes. They <laughs> wanted to torture you on purpose. Yes. Did Jonathan Karsh have his own uh, bathroom? I think he had his own trailer. Pretty sure he had a nice luxury bed. Okay, <laughs> I got I gotta ask you about Jonathan Karsh. Mm-hmm. It's creepy, strange alien lizard man, isn't he? Oh my god. I think it was. <laughs> you think he was a reptilioid? Because when, whenever he was talking to you guys, he was very direct. He was just like, you are looking like easy pickings down there. <laughs> yeah, he would repeat the same lines over and over again because it would be like, oh, that take wasn't good enough. So he, he was really? very robotic. He'd be like, in our towns, objective is this. And then they'd be like, okay, and say it again. Then he would say, in our towns, objective. So he would repeat things over and over again. So we were really like, yo, what the fuck's You're going just like, on? <laughs> is this guy like broken? <laughs> yeah. It always kind of looked like he was talking at you, not really to you. Oh, he definitely was. was, I mean, also, like, when I left, he just, like, towered over me. He was, he he was just, like, looking down. He was like, bye, bitch. That's how, one of the, there's a few things, because we do media. We know certain tricks of the trade. And I, I noticed certain things that were, like, you could not fake. Like, you were looking up at this towering man, like, Oh. You're, you're giving him this kind of look, and I'm like, my God, Jimmy's truly like in awe. Because normally, like at that age, adults talk to you kind of in a different way. They may get down to your level and you're trying to have a conversation. Yeah. Nah. But he's just like <laughs> power figure. Well, I guess you're leaving, little boy. <laughs> the door is that way. It was weird. I really thought it was weird. Were you creeped out by him? I was. I was. I, I, I didn't feel safe around him. I'll say that. <laughs> he got it from the source. <laughs> he didn't feel safe around Jay Carr, hey. the king. I don't know if you saw. Here, give me that. We put him right. That's where he was in the feudal economy. He was right there. He was king. J Card. We got. I call him J Card. What did you? What did you guys call him? I didn't know his name. You didn't know his name. <laughs> that, that man. That that specter that shows up. <laughs> yeah. And taunts me with stars. So they didn't tell you about the star uh, until you. Well, you didn't know about it until you left. I I think I knew about it like on the flight home. Cause I I. Cause when I went in, I was. My mom alluded to the idea like, oh, maybe you'll be able to win money. So they might have, I, they might they have might told, told her. her. I, I, I'm going to confront her about that. How'd you feel when you found out you uh, you lost a chance at the star without even knowing? I was I, I was I was a little bit pissed. I was like, <laughs> they, they didn't tell it. I, I I don't know if that would have kept me around, but it certainly would have had a fact. It would it would have had a push to make me sick. I, right. I, 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 we wondered yeah. that because you walked out and then he's like, all right, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know until like a few days later. I was like, it's what the crazy. fuck? It's crazy. Do you know what happened to Jared three years before that day? Today, oh, yeah. the first day in three years. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been wondering that myself because I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm worried for him. I don't know what happened three years ago. <laughs> Something really bad happened Something to really him. Something really bad happened to him. Yeah. And so, I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. So you, you, so you said you were on the news about it? Yeah, yeah. So, so I went on when I was eight, but it, you're, it aired a year later. And so I was on the news, like, or there were like some fucking news channel, like, like around the time it was aired. And they were like, oh, you know, we feel bad. You, you missed out on your chance to win a gold star. So we got you one for yeah. the studio. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to get money. Oh, no. I was like, look at this. I was like, wow. That, that one's rounded. It's not even, it doesn't even look like And it's like also a star. paperweight that I accidentally broke. <laughs> oh, it's a paperweight. You, how'd you break it? Enraged? <laughs> the people, people keep screwing me over. I'm just a little boy. I mean, that's what it was. But, yeah, I, this is probably worth, you know, I, I, can, I, I, can, I can see that at least. You could probably get it for five ninety nine on Amazon. Maybe not these days. That doesn't even look like the same kind of star. Mm-hmm. I think it does. It's, it's kind of 
kind of small. <laughs> so what are you up to these days? What have you uh, What have you gotten up to? I'm going out to medical school in the fall. Medical hey. school. He's going to save lives. See, that's what happens to people who go through traumatic life events. So, you, so you're going to medical school for what kind of what kind of what field? I'm not sure yet. Um, I th I'm thinking like oncology right now, but I mean, it's probably gonna change. Oncology. What's oncology? Cancer. Ca <laughs> Okay, I don't ever do this. I don't ever do this. I'm gonna pretend I knew what oncology was because I don't wanna look that dumb. <laughs> I know what most fields are. I didn't know the cancer field was called oncology. It's a weird name. It's uh, a really weird name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Jimmy, what field are you going into? Um, right now I think I'm gonna go into oncology. Oncology, for all those of you who don't know, that's the cancer one. <laughs> I I knew that. <laughs> I didn't ask off screen. So for you should all feel stupid out there for not knowing that. Okay, so yeah, you're going into to the field for like research or actual uh, surgery or what I, kind I, of? I'm thinking like, like I hope probably both, like, like research and like clinical work, like working with patients. Nice, brilliant. Well, Jimmy, you seem like, you're, you're a real nice, cool guy. Has anyone Thank ever you. described you that way, told you that? No. <laughs> Has anyone ever been nice to you? Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, people, people are nice to me. Well, Jimmy, thank you so much for coming on. But before you leave, we've got a little something for you. We wanted to right this wrong, okay? And we wanted to finally give you that star we feel you deserved. That's right. Bring it out, boys. Oh, my God. They're not just going to print one off and hand it to. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, that's the, that's the best we could do. We're working with we're on a magenta. Big One free big bag. Bag. <laughs> Everything's closed. So here you go, Jimmy. How do you feel? There it is. That QR code. You just scan that. One free Big Mac. No drink, though. I'm sorry. Let me let me disinfect that for handing it over to you. Oh my god. <laughs> be a bit thrilled. <laughs> For the big guy. <laughs> say. How do you feel, Jimmy? Complete. You get Complete. It? You scan that you scan that you scan that code. One free Big Mac. No drink though, I'm sorry. We gotta work <laughs> with the times where yeah, hold that up. Wow. 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 It's so awkward. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thank you for very much for having me, John. For sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I don't, I'm not an interviewer. So I just have one final question for you. Uh, what do you regret more, Kid Nation or John Tron? <laughs> this has been a pretty shitty experience. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I'm going to kill you for, for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh what is up with the beans? So there were a lot of answers there. <sighs> well... What I still don't understand is how, one, why didn't they sue them? Two, how is his parents just like, oh, okay, that's what happened to you? Like, whatever. The kid didn't die. Like, what is He's that? He's all right. <laughs> I mean. I would be really upset. Yeah, they signed him up. If that was up. my kid. They signed him up for it. They signed the dotted line. I also line. wouldn't have signed my kid up for What about the shitter? Dude, okay. Well, he was, he said he was in fourth grade. So I went to 4-H camp, and there were plenty of clean bathrooms, but I did not poop for f close to five days while I was there. I still have a hard time with that on trips and stuff. Really? Yeah. I don't at all anymore. I do. Um, so well, we would have got there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, okay? So, like, I would not go... Before anyone woke up, because maybe they would, the girls would hear me. I wouldn't. I had so much anxiety. I wouldn't go like you had classes and stuff, and I had classes that were like out in the woods. Like my friends took like photography and stuff, but I was like up in trees and stuff, so I couldn't go then. So I just like chose to just like hold it for like five days, and finally Friday night, you always had this big dance. So like at the worst possible time, my body was like. You gotta go right now. So like at the dance, you gotta go, and it was fun. Yeah. Why? Why when your kid, you're just I like I didn't have that problem as a kid. Just now? 
when did this start to develop? Like when I went out on trips and stuff, my body just didn't give me that option. No, I just didn't feel like I needed to go. Interesting. Until I got comfortable, and then and poor poor Jimmy thought it was gonna go up his. <laughs> That's disgusting. That is Dude, disgusting. I don't know about you, but bathrooms when I was a kid, it was almost always a wreck in there. They were constantly the janitors having to go clean up. So you could say my bathroom experience in elementary school was pretty gross. Yeah, I don't I don't recall our bathrooms being gross like ever. They were always clean. The only thing that was mm-hmm. gross, which is weird to think about now that I'm an adult, is like when the teachers were in there, that's when it was gross. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of adults and being weird and stuff, what about the camera guy just being like, yeah, Jimmy, keep crying those sweet tears <laughs> of entertainment. Or the dude who like had to take him back to the hotel room and he was like, oh, we had separate rooms. So did they just, or he said we had two rooms. So did they just give Jimmy his own separate Little room? eight-year-old Jimmy just like, doing his just own chilling. thing all like, day. Dude, I would be so, so weird. Lonely and bored and just... Yeah, it sounds fun, but, like, you would be scared. For three days? And, like, he's from, like, the East Coast. His Mm -hmm. family's nowhere close, you know? Yeah. So, interesting situation. No surprise somebody like John Tron's gonna dig into it and... Very funny. Put it out there. Awkward humor. I want to see some of that show now that I know that it's, like... Legit? Well, hard to find and stuff. I thought somebody mentioned that the whole thing was he on was, YouTube. Yeah, he was... John Charm was saying you couldn't buy it anywhere. Oh, okay. And that's probably for a good reason. Yeah. And they probably had to have certain kind of rights mm-hmm. to be able to use... I don't, I don't know. Right. You know. But anyway, there you go. We watched it. You've asked and asked and waited and here it is. I finally watched she it. She finally watched it. Now I know. Thank you guys for the recommendation and I hope you enjoyed this video. Go love on John Tron's channel. Show some respect. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button on every single one of you. I'm talking about all of his videos. Please. Every one of them. Every one of them. <laughs> and all of ours, too. Yeah, including this one. That would be cool. You could subscribe to our channel as well. Check out the Discord link down in the description, along with a link for the original video here that we watched. Suggestions. I mean, comment section. Comment section. Also on the Discord. On the Discord. Jinx. What do we got new coming up? We Nikki? have a Patreon coming up. So if you have any recommendations of things for us to react to, movies, she's not shows, seen a bunch of stuff. Like you just don't even know. There's a lot of classics. That Anything I have that missed. you you would like to see Nikki's reaction to, drop that down in the comments section. And I will section. let you know. I yeah. will personally comment and let you know if I've watched it or not. So. Well, if, don't get too weird. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> so there's that. I had a good time. I hope you did as well. But for this video, I think that's going to do it. That'll do it. Bye.